Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan, and today I'm gonna to be doing the 40 question tag. I was tagged by Princess Lux Love, and I'll link her video down below. I think this is just a really fun way to get to know people and see what they like, kind of outside of just presenting luxury items or talking about stuff. So if you're new here, I work as a statistician, and you know, I do not get to talk about shoes and purses and, and all that fun stuff in my daily life, even though math requires so much more creativity than I think people really give it credit for. But this is, you know, just a really fun hobby for me. So to begin with the questions, I do have them written all down here. I'm very much a like pen and paper kind of person. So if you see me looking down, that is why. So the first question, do I like blue cheese? Yes, I do. I actually love blue cheese. I didn't know that until my husband, who loves all food, he, he felt very strongly that I needed to try good, good, mm. I'm already getting tongue tied. This is the kind of video it's gonna be. He felt very strongly that I should try good blue cheese before making up my mind and in the right application. Just because it is such a strong flavor, you know, it should be paired with the right thing. And also, you know, like, don't make up your mind if you've only had Maytag, Blech. no. But yes, I do like blue cheese. Coke or Pepsi? Um, Pepsi, um, because we had it growing up. But to be honest, I actually, I quit all soda because I was working in a fast food restaurant during college for three years, glamorous. <laughs> and I, I just couldn't stand the soda anymore. They hook up these syrup boxes you know, whenever you go to a fast food thing, it's like these pumps. And I would drink a lot of soda because we would get a free cup whenever we worked. I couldn't sleep. <laughs> no wonder, you know, I was drinking soda when I was on my feet for all those hours. And yeah, I quit it cold turkey and now I just don't want it anymore. Are you in a relationship? Yes, I am. I am married. I got married this past October. Whiskey or tequila? <laughs> Um, so I don't drink very much, but I do love tequila. Uh, I like whiskey too, but I'll drink tequila anytime. I like tequila cocktails, I like tequila straight. I just, yeah, it's just really good. I like it. Hmm. Cheeseburgers or hot dogs? Cheeseburgers probably, but I do like grilled hot dogs. I don't know, I like, I like a lot of junk food. Try not to have it all the time, but I definitely like it. Favorite foods, I could not say. I can pick from like within a category, but just favorite food of all time? No, mm -mm. I don't know, I like too many things. And yeah, there's just too much food. I, I, I couldn't narrow it down. Mm -mm. Uh, your drink in the morning, tea. I drink tea in the morning. I quit drinking coffee a couple years ago. Sometimes I have fallen off the wagon and I definitely love to get cappuccinos out or just espresso but at home in the morning, I drink tea. Can you do a hundred push-ups? No. Uh-uh. No, I used to be, you know, I used to probably be able to do about 50. Um, at one point, a couple years ago, I was in the best shape of my life. I don't know if I will ever get that fit again, um, but I could definitely do like five to 10 pull-ups based on the day, which is usually pretty tough for women. Um, yeah, I was in really good shape then, but no, definitely not now. Favorite season? Autumn, definitely. Hands down, no question. My birthday's in October, we got married in October, I love the weather, I love the layering, I love everything about it. Favorite hobby? Right now, honestly, YouTube. I love YouTube. I've loved, I love this so much more than I ever expected to, but otherwise it would have to be hiking and, and camping, going on just really long walks. My husband and I probably you know, we'll walk a good seven to 10 miles at least every other week. Tattoos. Nope. I thought about one for a very long time. I was committed to one idea for a solid 10 years and that was self-imposed. I told myself when I was in high school, okay, if this is what you want, if you still want it 10 years from now, you can have it. Um, I'm very strict with myself in that way, but I, I just haven't done it. I don't know if I ever will, because it just doesn't matter to me all that much, which probably tells me I shouldn't do it. Glasses. No, I don't need glasses or contacts. I know that my eyesight definitely suffered in college from all that screen time. I still have to spend a lot of time on the computer because of my job, but as of right now, I don't need glasses or contacts. Phobias. Um, 
I don't like a lot of creepy crawly things. Usually just depending on where they're positioned. Like I can deal with them, but I'm not a big fan of spiders. I, I don't really like things that can like jump at me or you know, like anything that can move really fast, or especially if it's overhead. I don't like that. But I do, I love being outside and you, you just deal with it. Uh, nicknames. <laughs> Uh, in college, a lot of people called me Snow White. That was all part of my grant program. People would say that because of, you know. <laughs> um, uh, other than that, I don't really have any nicknames. Candy. I love sweets. I love them. I do not like sweet wine. I ugh, hate it, but I, you know, I don't know why I just thought that. Um, but I do love, I have such a sweet tooth. So I, I don't know why I don't like sweet wine. Okay, um, but I, I love to bake. I love all sorts of candy. I'm an absolute like garbage can, except for the fact that I don't let myself have it. Um, but I, I love to bake. I love to bake cookies. The only way that I stop myself is that I, I make the dough and then I freeze it into little balls so that I can just pull out one at a time and it makes about six cookies. It's the only way I can balance it. Do I believe in ghosts? I don't know. You know, it's just one of those things where maybe this is my overly rational math brain coming out, but it, if it just doesn't really matter, I don't care to have an opinion about it. Right, it's never affected me, so I don't know. Biggest downfall. <laughs> um, uh, two things. I can be really, really shy. Really shy. <laughs> Um, I'm definitely an introvert. Once you get to know me, I can be quite like loud and boisterous and, and fun. Um, but I, when I'm around new people, and this can definitely be frustrating, I sweat a lot when I meet new people. Uh, in my interview for my current job, oh my gosh, I can't believe they gave it to me because I was sweating profusely. Um, <laughs> And maybe me saying that, you'd think that I'm clearly not that shy if I'm gonna say that on the internet, but I, it's different. I'm sitting alone, I have my cat. Um, I'm really shy. Um, and also, if I had to say, I'm really stubborn. Sometimes I can be quite, once I get grumpy about something, I can be very stubborn and particular about it. So those are the two things. Otherwise, I think I'm pretty easygoing and fun-loving. Snow or rain? I don't know, I like both. Genuinely, truly, absolutely. Both of them limit the shoes that I can wear, so that would be the only thing, not to be the biggest girl in the world. Um, but probably snow because it's so pretty. I live in New England, so I love snow. Shoveling it can be a real pain, but I, I just, I don't know, I like gloomy weather. <laughs> I like rain. The only thing I don't like about it is how I have to be particular about what shoes and bag I wear, but I don't know, I just love it. Piercings, yes, I, I've gotten my ears pierced quite a few times. Unfortunately, three of them just didn't take. I might try to do it again in the future, but I'm just not really that fussed about it. I do have, how many do I have? I have four piercings yeah, in total now in my ear. Uh, how old am I? I am 28. Uh, french fries or onion rings? French fries. All day, every day. I love french fries. Uh, that was the hardest thing to stay away from when I was working in fast food in college because I absolutely love french fries. Random side note, so I have to travel quite a bit for work normally outside of the pandemic. You know, obviously I haven't been. But when you travel a lot, you have to eat out a lot. And that is the most frustrating thing about traveling for work. I noticed how maybe this is like an American thing. I don't know. But it's really hard to avoid having french fries as a side. Um, yeah. <laughs> so for a few months, I, may, I committed to not having any french fries just to like just to see how hard it would be. And it was surprisingly difficult, but I discovered all of these other things that I really liked just because I didn't default to a side of fries. Anyway, I love fries. 
uh, kids. No, not yet. You know, I'd, I'd like to have one, but not quite yet. Because, you know, we just got married. We have to move a lot. Any anyway, not yet. <laughs> favorite color. Oh, that's like asking me what my favorite food is. I love all the colors. I really love purple. Pink reminds me of my mom because that's her favorite color. But I, yeah, I love a lot of the, like, pink, purple, red, all of those kind of things. Can you sing? Sure, alone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> when no one's there, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I can sing. I've had some people tell me that I can sing well enough. My husband tells me I can't, but I also don't try to, like, I do the goofy fake singing in front of him. But yeah, maybe. Can you whistle? Nope. Nope, can't do it, just can't. I was really proud when I learned to snap my fingers. That was a big day for me, uh, but no, I can't whistle. Can you cook? Yes, not nearly as well as my husband and he does most of the cooking, but yeah, I can cook. Can you swim? Yes, I can. I love to swim. I learned when I was just a very little girl. It's also a really good sport for an introvert because you're just in your zone. <laughs> But I, I love to swim. Um, otherwise, I did soccer growing up. Where were you born? I was actually born in Maryland, just probably 30 minutes outside of Washington, D.C. I love Maryland. If you ask any Marylander, we are absolutely obsessed with our state. We will put our flag on everything. Uh, yeah, I love Maryland. Maryland girl through and through. Siblings. Yes, I'm the youngest of three. I have an older brother and a sister. Are you religious? No, not really. Big or little city? I like to live in a small city, but I like to have direct access to a big city. I, I've lived in big cities plenty of times. Um, I spent a fair amount of time in New York City, in Philly. You, it can definitely be overwhelming. Currently, I, I don't live that far outside of Boston. So I love having access to everything they have. But in terms of like, yeah, where I want to live, probably a small city. Are you a good friend? I hope so. I'll have to ask them. I have a very small group of friends. I love them deeply. There is nothing I wouldn't do for them. And I, I think so. Uh, any broken bones? Yeah, I broke my wrist when playing soccer. I fell and stupidly put my hand out. It's just a reflex, obviously. But I broke my wrist and then you fall a lot in soccer, especially girls play rough. But I, after that, I would like throw my hand up as I would fall and fall backwards um, because I didn't want to break anything after that. But yeah, I, I broke my wrist. Worst pain. Obviously, the, the worst pain I've ever felt have, was nothing physical, you know, it's always emotional, I think, for, for most of us. And we're not gonna get into that. Um, but the worst pain was, well, I guess this is kind of emotional, I don't know. So, um, I don't mind saying that I used to have anxiety, panic attacks, you know, panic attacks. Those are excruciating. Uh, I, I don't think if you've never experienced it, I hope you never do, um, but it's hard to understand exactly what that feels like. But they, they used to bring me to the ground. Fortunately, I have not had one in a very long time, but that was probably the most painful thing I've ever felt. Worse than breaking a bone. I've, <laughs> I've done plenty to, to my knees, you know, from playing soccer and yeah, that, that takes the cake. How many TVs do you have? I didn't really appreciate how many TVs people had. We have one TV, sort of, um, but it's not even like uh, hooked up to cable or anything like that. We just have a really big screen that we can plug our like, computers into our laptops and to pull up like Netflix and things like that. So it's, it's not even like a smart TV. <laughs> um, okay, can you dance? Sure, absolutely. <laughs> Tiny maracas is my go-to dance move. Um, I Sure, yeah, anyone can dance, right? If you're having a good time. Do you like camping? Yes, I do. I love camping. I've been camping since I was a little girl. Are you weird? <laughs> Did I mention tiny maracas? <laughs> um, yeah, obviously. <laughs> also, I think it takes a certain kind of personality to jump into YouTube, so yeah. <laughs> um, okay. 
that was it. I think the last one is to tag people. So uh, I'll have to think about who hasn't done this yet and tag people down below. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed getting to know me a little better. I would love to know just something, just tell me a random fact about yourself down in the comments because I, I would love to know more about you. The whole reason I'm doing this is to communicate with people who really like the same things that I do. So it would be wonderful to get to know you better. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.